We're filming, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's great. <laughs> can, I, can I do an intro before you do this? Oh, we can, we can remake it. It's come, fine. come, come, come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Food Review Club. We're going to Lena today. Where is this, though? St. Regis? So, this is called St. Regis Garden, actually. It's just a part of the hotel. And here we have six restaurants, not just wow. Lena. So, please, I will take but, you around and I will but, show you everything. But, 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 Lena mm. is the most beautiful restaurant, apparently, in the world. Is that Jeremy Clarkson? Yeah. We've got to come, right? We had a kebab earlier. Now we're having a meal at the most beautiful restaurant in the world. And we've got a special guest joining us today. So, about the restaurant, let me tell you, maybe for yes, next please. review. So here we have six restaurants, as I said. First one is the one on the right side when you walked in. It's called Senior Sassi. That's the Italian restaurant originally in London. Yes, it's located right here. You have indoors, outdoors, amazing food as well. You should try it one day. Second restaurant we have is called Trisind Studio. That's an Indian cuisine restaurant with two Michelin stars. It's located right here on the right side. This restaurant is a bit difficult to get a reservation though because only six tables inside. So six. you can Im <laughs> yes, you can imagine the experience. Yeah. Six it's tables. amazing. Yes, sir. That's it. Set menu of 20 courses, small bites of course, but <laughs> amazing. Trust me. Third restaurant we have is called Chewam in front of you. French fusion cuisine restaurant. What amazing cuisine because I personally have tried it and the food there is fantastic. Fourth restaurant we have is Linea. It's a steakhouse originally from Spain. Only opened seven weeks ago. Oh, so wow. it's literally, it's a brand new restaurant. And the decoration there is amazing. Fifth restaurant we have is all the way on the top. Right here. Oh. All the way on the top. What's that called? It's called Cuckoo. Oh, Dubai. we went there last night. Really? Yeah. Yes. It's amazing. Very windy. Of Very, it's windy. <laughs> uh, well, it depends on the weather, actually. But today, <laughs> obviously, today is not that windy. So that's the it's first nice restaurant. Though. Yes, amazing. And for the last restaurant we will have, sadly, is not. Oh open wow! Yet. Look at this. This is Lenny. Up, please. If you can't see us, by the way, it's very dark. It's yeah. Ah, there we go. Look, we've got a co-host. Co-host. This that is our co-host. I'm ready. I'm ready. How are you? Hey, look, How are you? We're a bit, there we go. Hello, mate. Here we go. How are you? Yeah, good, very, very, very good. good. Very good. We're getting a sub sublime sort of introduction. Mm. Oh, oh my that. god, wow. I'm good. Very, very good. Excited to eat. Thank you. <laughs> Trust me, you're going to eat a lot here. Good, perfect. I'm here for the food. And the, and the company. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. No, Look at this. It's a steakhouse. Stunning. It's a steakhouse you probably you hear from the protein, so. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Always. So is, is this a steakhouse? Is that, is that right? Yes. Oh, great. Charcoal steak. steak. I didn't even know. Well, right I didn't up your... tell you something that I didn't tell you. Can you see that? It's called smoked room. Yes. That's uh, for booking only. It's a uh, one and only experience. One big table, 14 wow. or 15 persons. The chef cooks everything in front of you and you don't know what you're eating till oh, wow. you finish. That's so they will tell you more about it inside. So awesome. right, we're in. Danny's all right. Better, better late than never. So yeah. We've got a co-host today, James. Legend. James Cleaver. Absolute legend. Friend, associate, met up with him once we're here. Invite him to dinner. Why not? This is what not? food's all about, right? Getting together. Having a chat, meeting good people. That is what the ceremony of good food is all about. Um, I'm so excited for this place too. You've got quite the backdrop there, mate, I'll be honest. Yeah. That's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty special. We've done a lot of burgers, fried chicken, street food, kebab. The world's most beautiful restaurant. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And where else, once again, before we get into this, where do you want to see us go next? Let us know. Well, that was, uh, that's the door, isn't it? We're in. This is overwhelmingly beautiful. Yeah. We've lost them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We have some salty chon, it's a dry it was like We have some salvador what bread. What is that? And on this side, this is gonna be the sheep butter. We are uh, covering it with the roasted leek on the top. We are keeping it in the fridge. The butter is coming from the Spain, and we are grilling the leek in a jasper, and we are getting ash out, out of it, and we are putting on the top of the butter. I will serve it for you, and you can have it Thank with you. the bread. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. Was that butter? Sheep's butter was about sheep's butter. So. With ash. Wait. 
Please, enjoy. Right, let's do it, gents. This bread looks sensational. How's the lighting in there, bro? Not great. <laughs> not great. Not great. I'll be honest, it's uh, not great. Is that, can you pass us that over here, maybe? Is that, is that going to do it absolutely out of them? Guys, still uh, transform the video? Nope. It's just in the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just worse. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just hold it here, maybe. What do you think? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> There's something strangely satisfying about bread and butter. Wow. Here we go. How are we looking? Please, for the people. The sauce. There you go. Mmm. <laughs> Good. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, for the mini burgers, we're gonna mince the picanha beef loin. Yeah? Oh, wow. And then we send the beans, minced beef to prepare the cutlet for the mini burger. So picanha is a uh, uh, rump, isn't it? Rump. It's a rump steak it's coming from the top part of the loin. Yeah. Here we go. Wow, look at this. Can we, can we see that again, sorry? Show the camera. See that fat in there, look? Beautiful. So at least you ground it out the table. Just in case you didn't believe they ground it in-house, they'll show you. <laughs> we'll just show it's just pure, right, good quality meat. Now, James, as a, this is an interesting point. As a, a Brit that's recently moved to Dubai, how have you found it, not only like moving here, but oh, as a food scene too? Food. I'm a massive foodie like yourself, right? I love my food. In terms of, the, London's incredible, right? It's gonna be hard to beat. But what I like about Dubai is, everywhere you go is good. If it's not good, you're not gonna survive, basically, right? It's everywhere so being, competitive. So competitive. But the food scene in terms of high-end restaurants is starting to get better and better. There's a few Michelin-star restaurants here as well. I love, and I'm into my food, good steak. There's nothing you'll miss from UK. I promise you this. Even like you come here, right? You've got, gone to place up fish and chips, yeah. pie, mash, all this kind of stuff as well. There's nothing you'll miss here. Absolutely nothing you'll miss here. And in terms of living in Dubai, moving, have a business in the UK, it's been amazing. Um, obviously low tax, safe, bit of friendly here. I mean, how have you found it in terms of... We've, we've absolutely loved it, haven't we? We've had a quite a few discussions this week about great place. So this week, the last few days, it's so enjoyable. Yeah, it's been great. really it's great, enjoyable. Yeah. Lifting weights. He's found a gym already. He's found a gym already. It's not a bad one, is it, Benus? Yeah. Not a bad. And a gym. training partner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's he's happy. That's yeah. fine. Simple that man. Good. Simple yeah. man. <laughs> Food, training, friends, tanning. There that's you it go. Much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to tonight, though. Should be good. Yeah, be good. I think the premise is steak, right? Believe so, yeah. 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 I think he's famous for it's his Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Don't quote me on that. Sounds Don't quote me on that. I think so. Sounds Spanish. He's a blind leading blind. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll find out, I suppose. But the, uh, the manager came over. Danny has arranged a table here. Full transparency. Danny has got a table arranged here through a PR company for us. So the manager came over and said, that I think they're going to put on a, a showcase of their signature dishes. So we don't really know what we're going to get. We haven't ordered anything. I think it's going to bring us some, some stuff. The mix, we don't know yet. Yeah. It's a nice steak. Nice some good steak, I bet. That looks absolutely stunning. I think we've got that. I'm not sure if you heard that at all. What is this one here, Danny? It's a green apple. Green apple uh, foie gras. So I think it's foie gras they've made. Apples and walnuts. Apple. Toasted bread. We've got um, a beef piccata, a tatar under there maybe? And some sort of avocado. Yeah, some sort of avocado, roasted avocado salad. Looks really, really nice. That's incredible. Yeah, that's similar to you know, Heston's restaurant. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know what it is, yeah. The Work of art. Yeah. Right, let's kick we get off. into that apple thing. Shall we? Let's get into it. Oh, yes. Absolutely incredible. There we go. Gents, let's dig in, shall let's we? Go, let's go. 
very beautiful. It's got definitely got a bit of poise to it, a bit of class. And uh, the restaurant, in terms of atmosphere, which for me is really important, it's quite dynamic, there's a good tune playing. Everyone's having great conversations, it's moody, it's got a bit of atmosphere to it, there's definitely a vibe. What do you think? Love it. Yeah. Good vibe, good music, company's okay. Yeah. Could do better. <laughs> Yeah, you don't, please don't talk about Danny like that. <laughs> yeah. He's right. Mm. Hello. Whoa. Hello. So we use uh, three types of tuna, which is uh, Otoro, Shutora and Akami. The tuna itself coming from Spain, from Cadiz Island. I'll cut it and help you to serve. He came out of nowhere. This here. Breathtaking, like so smooth, good. creamy, very subtle, but hugely Moorish. What, what, uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is. On top, so we've got beef, beef to tie underneath. What is it on top? I'll show you. Let me try and have a look at this. Okay, so this sauce. beef to tie oh. on top. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you, beef tatar's not my favourite. Undeniably good. Oh, that's good. Undeniably good. Wow. Oh, here we go. Okay. The smell. <laughs> Smell from that, warm coming from the beef tartar. <laughs> There's a big pepper, gentle pepper kick, very creamy, and the beef is sensational. I'm not a huge fan of texture sometimes just to throw me off, but it's blended. That has a bit of chunk to it. A bit of like a rough cut, so you actually feel like you're eating something, not like a mush. Very, very good. What is this, Danny? I believe it's three types of tuna, definitely Toro. I didn't catch the name of this one, but it looks fantastic. Tuna Carpaccio. But this is like a real like, speciality, I think. And, and do, do, would you have the whole piece? I've never had this before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Toro's basic belly of tuna, right? Belly of tuna. Go for it. Let's go. Like that, fold it up. It almost looks like Parma ham. <laughs> Such a culinary pleb. It's like a Billy Bear, huh? <laughs> uh, would you like to add to the uh, No, okay, thank you. Good. So, I've got a funny feeling this food is completely lost on me. <laughs> but let's enjoy the ride. What an experience. Yeah, exactly right. Wow. Oh my god! That's mesmerizing. The yeah, tuna? Yeah. What about the salad? No, we're okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, something for the vegans. Yeah. Yes, avocado. Uh, yes, I have it now, it's here. There's aubergine, I think, maybe of some sort. Wow, the more to back to the tuna. It's got oh, a wonderful acidity to it. Fatty, silky, and acidity to it, and a bit of crunch on top with these peppers and olives. Um, let me see that, Dan. Got little pieces oh of sort of peppers and olives that also bring some texture, covered in like elite olive oil. High calorie, clean, hard hitting, punchy food. Fantastic. Here we have a burger, the special burger by Chef Danny. Uh, we have a picanha steak, we have a secret sauce, we have a Philadelphia cheese, and we have some bread. Thank you very much. Please enjoy. Thank you. Wow. So I don't know if you got that or not. I'll quickly paraphrase. Burgers, that's the meat that was cut, uh, blended at the table earlier. And we've got a chicken and potato croquettes in a tempura batter. Awesome. It looks great. How about that for a plate, by the way? <laughs> that's handy. <laughs> Here we do have some tahos after the burger. Some tahos? Oh, yeah, you have, you have to eat it by hand. We're going to need it, okay. All right, here we go, let's just get into it, shall we? Get one in. Wow, look at that. You see that all right? Yeah, yeah. That looks wicked. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Nicely toasted, too. <laughs> no way you need a towel. They're very juicy. Good. Powerhouse.
Charles Flavor. Wow. Up there, Matt. Absolutely delicious. The sauce. Peppery. The bun is crisp. Throw these croquettes. That's so good. So rich. So rich. The technical term for that is filth. <laughs> not good for you. Definitely not good for you, is it? It's good for something. Yeah. <laughs> is that good, mate? Very good. Excuse me, sir. Oh, as you do have a steak, we are offering different kinds of the steak knives. They are coming from different regions. We do have a cunha from Portugal, we have Lagioli from the France, Florentina from Barcelona, Spain. Wow. And the rest, we do have a Florentine, Cloud de Bison. All of them, they have specific history. But all of them is sharp. It's going to be your choice which one you would like to have. Oh. What an incredible selection. You your weapon. The last time I saw a selection like this was in Brixton. Um, <laughs> but now it's Dubai. <laughs> I think I want to go for the. Um, which one? What would you recommend? Uh, Cunha. Okay. Please. Wow. Look at this. Which, nice. which weapon did you pick? Good choice. Keep one last to be prepared. Long and thick. All the reviews that you can see, Thank they you. don't look, uh, look like to each other. Because it's the master is doing everything that he's doing, he's doing uh, from his experience. Can I pick a knife for everyone as well? Yeah, of course, please. So we've got to pick a knife based on the, pe the person. So I want one short. I already know where I'll, what, what I'm going to get. Uh, Claude Why? Bison, it was uh, in 19th uh, century. Yeah. The Claude Bison was founded by uh, Mr. Claude. He has a stamp of the wolf. Because his, nick, one, yeah. because his nickname was called. Yeah, yeah, it's a pocket that. knife, you can take it with you. I can take it with me, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I put it away. I like this yeah. one. This is dangerous. You look right at home with that, I'll be honest. Wow. So Danny, and that's got Danny's name over it. Look at that, look. Short, so, short. so this is, this is, this is Danny. Short, sharp, <laughs> very powerful. This is pocket knife as well. It will be, it will be close. Five for 10, that's a very, very average. Tinder six, Tinder six foot. And that's one I believe is a hunting one, Florentino. You happy, with the, you, you happy with the hunting knife? Well, I'll be a hunter, yeah, for sure. That one, one looks, it looks like the gay pride flag though, that one. That looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. What are you looking at? Oh, oh, sorry, put that back. Put that back. Sorry, put that back. Back, back. <laughs> Cut. It's the, the best one. Yeah, no. Ah. Laurentine. The best Laurentine. Uh, yeah. You said the best one is each knife. That's the best. That's the best. That's the best. That's the best. All of them are best. All, All of them. them. So these gifts. That's it's perfect. not a gift, but you have to give oh. it back. It's oh, gift a... to have it with a steak. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Thank sir. You salesman. I really enjoyed that. That was good. I've been presented with a, a box of knives. Fantastic. There you go. That's a small thing to get entertained. We have oh, your oh, uh, wow. Tirami oh. Porterhouse. Oh. And it's coming with some different sides. We do have a white sesame, we have a soya. We have a black sesame seed, we have some fresh wasabi, and we do have a green pepper paste. Wow. Cooked rare, medium rare, which I like. Have you that, ever seen? That's quite a spectacle, isn't it? Have you ever seen the bone uh, wrapped up like that after and presented in this fashion? Beautiful. I've never ever seen that before. So we have a green broccolini, and we do have a French fries with a rosemary. That looks. Um, Gee, wow. I can smell the rosemary hard, um, and it looks sensational. I don't know, you see that all right, Dan? You've yeah, got yeah, the yeah, yeah. Flowers at the middle. Sorry, so obviously, wow, you've got yeah. the, the porterhouse, which is the, the select end of the team. I'm sorry, and this is and this is sir, what sirloin and fillet, isn't it? One yes. side. Sirloin side, fillet that side. side. Porterhouse, right? Porterhouse. Kiwami porterhouse. The 250 days grain fed from uh, Australia. We serve it with a soy paste, some fresh wasabi, and uh, white and black sesame. And this is a Japanese poncho sauce. Oh my god, wow. Thank you. Truffle onion grating. Oh, did you say truffle onion gratin or gravy? Gratin. 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 Wow. 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 wow, 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 wow. One more chimichurri. Wow. This is the main event, unquestionably. I think we should, I think we should dive in. Please, let's eat. Let's eat. And Peace all, all the No, time. okay, I think. No, it's good, thank you. It's like a hat. Citrus. Thank you, man. Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> We've got a proposal. <laughs> okay. Okay. Valentine's Day. Oh, there you go. Right, so. Oh, look at that now. Wow. I'm overwhelmed by it almost. I don't know where to start, right? That's the Beautiful. Thing. That's a good one. This is huge, so this is ridiculous, right? Let's just have a bite of this. We've been to some really, really iconic steak restaurants. We love steak. How is this? Steak here from Lena, the most beautiful restaurant in the world. It's gonna stack up. Let's dive in. Game over. It is actually that good. Absolutely isn't it? sensational. Let's try some of the soda quickly as well. What's I've got you guys? There we go. I've no doubt about it. You blindfolded me. That could be the best steak ever. Buttery. What, what do you I, gen I genuinely want to say this. I think that might be. I'm not like, yet been to every good steak restaurant. This might be the best thing I've ever had. Genuinely. Why? Right? It could be. Yeah. It's cooked to perfection. Yeah. Got that really nice crust. Super tender. Oh. It just feels magnificent. Let's get some more and see how we get on. Let's load up a little bit. It's difficult sometimes not to get a bit overwhelmed in the moment. I don't know if it's the best we've ever had, but it's certainly in the conversation. It's Wagyu, it's got that signature flavour to it. Was it 28 day grain fed? Sorry, 250 day grain fed Wagyu. Like, cut for cut, you're not going to get a better steak than that. And it's got. Can you come here look for a second? Can you see that cross on the outside? Nice. Just like magical. It's dancing, you know, it's absolutely sensational. And you've got the, some of the sides now, I've had some of these. The chips are great. Onion gratin, creamy, garlic. It's like an onion jam, it's fantastic. Very enjoyable. And nobody's talking, right? Just so I'm enjoying this. Everyone's gone silent. I how good it is. Are you full yet? I'm all sick now. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> so full. Wow. We've got desserts to come yet. Oh, God, we're going to bring that as well. Yeah. Overriding feeling right now is exceptional quality, class, and finesse. Like the, the, the bone thing, I know it's a, a showcase. <laughs> yeah. it, it brings that citrus flavour to the table, and they've got that time in there, and it's just wonderfully floral. Great, really, really impressed. Dubai, let's go. Did you show us the? Yeah, yeah after you, after you, Dan. Where are we going? The, see the meat. Oh. <laughs> this is we have some uh, pork fridges. It's a dry age. It's a size that Chef Danny Garcia wants to have it. We are dry aging the sea bass from the Spain. We do have some saltichon. We do have different cuts from the beef. We have porterhouse. We have a tomahawk. We have a ribeye, tenderloin, everything. The minimum of uh, our our beef is a minimum one is aged for 20 days. This is minimum. It's going up to 300 days. 300 uh, we have a duck days. as well. We have dry aging most of the sea. We have a chicken. We have a duck. And uh, we do have a turbot, but we didn't put it today. And this is going to be our dry ager uh, fridges. It's a system that is taking water out of the out of the product, and it will give a like specific uh, test to it. And the water house is going to be there, the one down. Absolutely amazing. Uh, we do have our kitchen of my kitchen. Yeah. This is the robata. If you want, we can take it. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Please. Go on. Let's go. Wow, 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 wow. This is our kitchen. As you can see, it's open. You can see it from the inside the oh, wow. restaurant. This is robata. It's a Japanese style of the preparation. It's a yakitori, the small skewer. Uh, chef Mario is the head chef of uh, uh, Lenya Dubai. Chef. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Magnificent. Yeah? Yeah. Are you happy? Incredible. Very happy. That's important. Just want to see the meat. It's pretty crazy. What? It's a beautiful kitchen. 
it's, it's amazing. We have two restaurants, but we don't share the kitchen. We share a production kitchen on the back, but this is only for us, only for Leña service. Wow. We have two grills, the Josper, this is the whole line. And after the wall, we have bakery and whole section. How has the food been received so far? It's a new restaurant. Tell us, how, how is the feedback? So far, it's amazing. We are doing 300. We opened a month ago, a month and 20 days ago. And during the week, we are doing 200. And the weekends, 300 fully booked. And everyone loves it so far. So we are super happy. Are you happy? I'm more than happy. <laughs> I couldn't imagine to be at this point after Love one month and a half. Wow. So. Wow. Well, we won't Thank take up too much of your time. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you. God bless. Amazing. Thank you. Let's, get, let's let you crack on with the work. Yeah. Plenty of work to be doing here. Have a good night. Thank Bye. you. That looks amazing what in there. What place that is? Jesus Christ. Wow. Some places just have that special something. I don't know what we've eaten today. That steak is just exceptional. Best ever? Maybe. I think so. Oh, we're just getting dragged everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fire organ, it's a nice way to hold the view of Atlantis. What the? This will be, so this can be open for the New Year's? Yes, it was open and all the guests they were here and they were enjoying the fireworks with the champagne and everything. Wow. It's nice weather as well, like yeah. having view to the uh, Atlantis apartment. And from it, as I said, you will see a country where you Where are you from, if you don't mind asking? I'm from Tajikistan, sir. Oh, wow. It's a small country in Central Asia. Are you, are, you, uh, are you doing some UFC or something? I do, I do, because, uh, I do mixed martial arts, yeah. yeah. You can see from your ears. <laughs> yes. you I like this. We you look like a bruiser. <laughs> Crippled, <laughs> cannot humble. We do the same a lot uh, in our country. A lot, a lot of the guys I train with actually from Seven at Uzbek and all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, there, it's close to us. Yeah, yeah, of course, all you guys. Very, very friendly, very tough people. Animals, animals, yeah. very, very pulling limbs off. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very, very tough people. Nice yeah, I just did a three uh, dessert for you selection. Yeah. It will be like in five or seven minutes in your oh, table. No Any coffee or tea for you, gentlemen? I'm good. I'm actually very good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. This is incredible. Thank you. There we go. Thank you, Thank you for wow. coming. Yeah, wow. amazing. Or spoons this time. We have another box. It's spoons. Yeah. Another tub of it. It's just spoons for the, for the dessert. You have to choose it. I like that. Whoa, what is this? Wow. Like a shoe box. Oh, oh, look at oh, this. Wow. <laughs> Another one is a roasted pineapple. This is a passion fruit uh, yogurt. We have some other sea salt on the top. And Tartada Rose is coming with a brown butter ice cream. I will keep one here and I will keep another one here. I've never seen you so happy, Danny. <laughs> What's this? Uh, this is a mulfe with vanilla cream and ice and sugar on the top. We will cut and we will serve it for you. I love that. Thank you. Help Should we get bigger plate? Nobody wants to do that. Yeah, I love that. That'll be fine. Thank, Thank you very much, sir. You are welcome. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. That's quite the portion you've got there, mate. No, 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 please. No, no, you come near me. No, I, I will attack. These look wow. absolutely unbelievable. So, again, a little bit of theatre with the boxes, and I want an uh, honourable mention to the young man, I didn't catch his name, he's been fantastic all night, and quite a lot of time when you go out, that's the sort of person that makes a difference to your evening, a bit of care, a bit of attention, what is your name sir? Dean Sean. Matt, thank you for tonight, it's been amazing, you're a real credit to the restaurant. Uh, you will allow me to serve it for you? Yes. yes. Just as long as you don't touch this. No, that's what I will not. It's only for you. You're serious though, aren't you? Yeah, I'm deadly serious. No, but this is the best one. This oh. is the one is a signature. This what is, is this again, sorry? This is a tarta de rose. It's kind of a soft cake with vanilla syrup. And we have rum butter ice cream. That's just spice. The smell is amazing. But, uh, well, jokes aside, what were you going to do with this? Cut it out for people? Yeah, just cutting it and then keep it on the middle. Okay, so I'll keep it. Would you like some of that? Uh, that'd be nice. Uh, you should have it with the ice cream. I'll kind of be that, thank you. If, if you've got any shifts going, I'm pretty handy at this. This is, yeah. Wow. Oh, you've got one. That's yours, that's yours. Oh, whatever. Oh, good. Danny? Yeah, love it. Come on then. <laughs> you can't believe that he's seen. You might as well take your dunk like that, right? Nah. Right. Jokes aside, this is a signature. 
traditional pastry, I'm not sure what to expect. You alright over there? No, I'm not alright. <laughs> I think I've been infiltrated by God himself. That's angelic, <laughs> angelic, delicate sweetness. And just what you need after a salty, beef, extravagant. I can't believe how good that is. I genuinely can't believe how good that is. This is levels, guys. This is absolute levels. Danny Garcia, the guy's restaurant this is, has three Michelin stars in his restaurant in East Marbella. So this guy, top of the top of the top, has taken it to another level, honestly. Unbelievable. Really, really good. Have you tried that? Pineapple. Yeah. Wow. I think it's aggregate. We're the best ones we've had. Yeah. Best dessert I've ever had. Really? Best you've ever had? Wow. Yeah. Words can't articulate how special that is. Let's try some of this. Sorry guys, sorry. <laughs> Buttery. Sharp. It's got it all. Danny, well done. Wow, that was a lovely dinner. As you can tell, <laughs> for the first time ever, I think maybe once or twice we've done this. No, but, okay. Let's just go run with it. For the first time ever, we forgot to do the outro. Yeah. Whose fault is that? Yours or mine? Uh, let's blame James, because he's, he's in Dubai. Yeah, James. Um, we did no outro. Lena, the world's most beautiful restaurant. Um, as you've just seen, literally breathtaking. I don't remember ever having a steak nicer than that. That's, it was Australian Wagyu which brings all of the flavor and benefit of Wagyu without the richness of the real stuff, the full A5 magic. Um, incredible from start to finish. The company, James, huge shout out to him for coming along, Danny for organizing it, and Lena for having us along and letting us film inside the restaurant and giving us some insight into the kitchen and talking to the chef. Fantastic. That was our last video in Dubai for now. That was a magical place, and I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Breathtaking, stunning. And do you know what? Some of the tuna at the beginning wasn't really my uh, my vibe, but you got you loved it, didn't I you? I loved it, I thought it was yeah, incredible. It's just yeah. not, it wasn't really for me, but I'm or speechless. Slick, pleasant, the vibe, the energy, the unspoken things around, like, it had the magic. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or any of the other Dubai content. I know we certainly did. Until another video, thanks again. <laughs>